So, during editing the video, napansin ko na sobrang haba pala ng video. So, I do recommend for you to just press yung para times 2 yung bilis ng pagpa-play niya kung nababaga lang kayo or nahahabaan kayo para you'll be able to finish the whole scope of the data interpretation. Hello guys! Welcome back to my channel. So if you're new here, hi, I'm Dave. I'm a first year medical student. I took my undergrad in the University of Santo Tomas and now I'm taking up Doctor of Medicine in Central Scholar University and my undergraduate degree is Applied Mathematics major in Actorial Science. So if you're here in this video, I hope natapos yun na yung first and second part ng quantitative reasoning natin. So today, yung itatakal natin is yung data interpretation part ng quantitative reasoning ng NMAT. I would just like to clarify, so yung material na gagamitin natin is yung practice set ng NMAT na binigay ng 2014. I think I will make a new patch na lang ng tutorial for the 2019 version ng practice set. Pero I already checked the practice set of 2019 versus the 2014 version. And malaki yung difference nila when it comes ng sa data interpretation. As in, bago lahat. Pero yung sa fundamental operations and problem solving, may mga items dun na naibigay na ng 2014. So, dun sa video na yun, I will just tackle the new ones na pinalitan dun sa 2019 version. So, let's start. Now, we will open Notability again. So, Notability. And then, we will open a new blank document. Now, with the NMAT practice set of 2014. Okay, so, ang natin again is the data interpretation. Okay, so, for number 25, Approximately, what percent of the science major are chemistry majors? So, usually, pag nakakita kayo ng table, automatic, i-add nyo na hagad yan. So, pwede nito mahirapan later on. Okay, so we will add the numbers na. So, 200, 130, 560, 180, 80. So, 0, tapos plus 3 is 25, so 5, 32, so 11. So, total is 1,150. So, ang tanong is percentage ng chemistry major. So, for number 25, the chemistry major is 180 over 1,150. So, dahil wala tayong calculator, we will just estimate. So, para mas mabilis tayo, co-convert nyo siya sa nearest number. So, this is approximately 200 over 1,200. So, roughly 1 over 6. So, lumalabas. So, tanggal na hagad yung 10. And, tanggal na din yung 20. Diba? So, ang choice na lang natin dito is 16 or 18. So, ano ba yung 1 over 6? So, kung 100, i-divide mo siya sa ng 6, ilan makukuha mo? So, roughly, lalabas dito is 15. Roughly 15%. So, ang mas malapit sa kanya ay 16%. Siyempre, yung estimation natin 16%, 15% is not correct kasi in-adjust na din natin yung first. So, ang tawag dito sa accounting is rounding of error. Okay, so number 26. Which areas has or have 10% less than mathematics? So, ang mathematics is 200. So, uh, ano ba sa kanila yung mas may mababa ng 10%? So, ano ba 10% ng 200? 20. So, ano sa kanila yung mas mababa ng 20? So, yung makikita mo naman kagad, which is chemistry. So, B. Number 27. So, if the ratio of the student ng bio, zoo, and botany is 4, is to 3, is to 1, how many are zoo majors? So, ang total kasi nung cluster na yun is 560. So, ang total ng 4, 3, and 1 ay 8. So, 560 
divided by 8 ay 70. So, i-multiply mo siya dun sa zoo. So, 70 times 3, 210. So, ang zoo majors ay 210, which is letter C. So, number 28. 28. So, the number of mathematics in geology, meteorology, oceanography, majors combined. So, sinabi is mathematics plus geomet, meteo, and oceano plus 80. So, this is 280. Is equal to what part of zoo? So, kanina nakuha natin na 560 yung total nila. ba? 560. So, ilang percent daw ng zoo, bio, and bota yung combination nung una nating cluster, which is 280. So, ilang 280 ang nasa 560? It is 1 half. So, sagot ay C. Okay. So, dito, huwag kayo malulula dun sa mga numbers kasi kapag sa data interpretation ng EMA, tinil mo talaga siya kailangan i-solve, kailangan mo siyang i-analyze. So, number 29, so from 1981 to 1984, approximately how many percent of the total registered aliens were Chinese? So, check mo na lang yung Chinese part. So, para hindi na naman tayo malula dun sa mga numbers, i-convert mo siya sa nearest thousand. So, this is 40, 40k, tapos 25k 25k 24k and then 2k so ngayon out of the total na registered so again 52k 33k 32k 32k and 10k Okay? So, makikita mo kagad dun sa 40 and 52k. Siyempre, hindi na kagad 24. Hindi na kagad 24% yun. Wala na yung 8. Tapos, ano ba ang 10% ng 52k? Which is 5.2. Diba? So, 5.2 times 2 is 10.4. So, kita mo ba na 10.4 lang ba yung difference ng 52k and 40k? So, hindi. So, ang sagot dito is 75%. Same goes dito. 33. So, pag ano, this is 6.6. .6. Yan ang 20% niya. So, 6.6 .6 lang ba yung difference ng 33 and 25? Hindi. So, more or less, 75% siya. Okay. So, same goes dito kasi marapit lang naman yung 33 and 32. So, this is 75%. And then, 24 to 32 is 75%. So, ang sagot dito is C. Number 13. Sa so 1982, the number registered alien decreased. So, which nationality registered lowest decrease? So, from 81, 1981 to 1982. So, check mo na lang yung mga options natin. So, sa Belgian, 98, and then 63. Sa German, 264, and 100. Si Hindu, 832, and then 649. Tapos si Chinese, 39, and then 24, 826. So, mag-rough estimation ulit tayo. So, dito, nakikita mo, ilan kaya yung percent na binaba ng 9, from 98 to 63. So, roughly, 
ang binaba nito is 30. So, yung 30, ilang percent ba siya ng 98? So, roughly, 30 percent. Ito, yung binaba ng 164. Ilan yung 164 sa 264? Roughly, 50 percent. Ang tinatanong kasi dito is lowest decrease. So, automatic, wala na to. Tapos, yung 832 and 649. Ano ba yung difference nila? 200. So, roughly, 25% yung difference nila. Tapos, etong 39,233 and 24,000. Pwede natin palitan to. Gawin natin siya ulit. Patulad ng estimation natin kanina, which is 40,000. And then, ito, na 25,000. Para hindi tayo mahirapan. So, yung 15% decrease niya, is roughly yung 15,000 pa lang yung 15,000 difference niya is roughly may estimate natin siya into 30% so I will get a calculator para ma-check natin yung totoo yung difference nila so tama yung estimation natin again I just used a calculator para lang mapakita ko sa inyo ma-proof ko yung point ko na you can estimate sa dating ito kasi matatagal lang tayo kapag isosolve nyo pa siya pero the way to solve this is 98 minus 600 ay minus 63 over 98 so yan syempre hindi nyo naman gugustuhin yan hindi nyo gugustuhin mag solve ng ganyan so you will just rough estimate so ang sagot dito is of course C so again 31 so sa A B, C, and D. So, which period percentage and decrease register is the lowest? So, check natin yung British. So, British. So, from 81 to 82, may kita mo kagad, more than half yung binagsak niya, di ba? So, this is 50% to around 60%. Roughly. Okay? So, yung second naman natin is 685 to 522. So, lumalabas na 1.6 yung binagsak niya. Around 1.6. Or, this is around 16%. Okay? Tapos sa uh, British ulit na 522, tapos papunta ng 432. Malabas na 20% ang binagsak niya. And then, sa D, 432, papunta ng 384. So, lumalabas na roughly 10% lang yung binaba nila. So, pinakamababa natin is D. So, 32, ilang percent daw ng 1981 German ang 50% ng German ng 19... 83. Okay? So, ang 50% ng 1983 German is pwede nating ma-estimate ng 30... 38? Kasi, 75 divided by 2 lalabas to ng 37.5 pero wala namang kalahating tao. So, this is 38. Ba? Wala pong kalahating tao. Okay? Sa so, tinatanong dito is ilang percent ng 1981 German yung 38. Ang German ng 1981 ay 264. Okay? So, 38. So, anong 10% ng 264? 26.4. Pero again, walang kalahating tao. So, ito ay 27. So, alam natin na more than 10% to. So, tanggalin mo na hagad si A. Um, 20%. So, ita times to ko lang to. So, this is 52.8. Again, wala pong kalahating tao. Wala rin po 0.8 na tao. So, this is considered as 53. So, alam natin na hindi tayo lalampas ng 20%. So, ang range lang natin is 10% hanggang 20%. At isa lang yun. That is B. So, B ang sagot. 33. 
The difference in total number of registered aliens in 1982 and that in 1985 was approximately total na natin. So sa 1982, ha, ito ay 32, 8, 53, roughly 33,000. Okay? Sa so 1985, it is 10,000. 291. Roughly, this is 10,000. So, gano'ng kalaki yung difference? So, kaya tanong dito, gano'ng kalaki yung binagsak niya? From 33,000, papunta ng 10,000. Makikita mo kagad. Diba? Na ang 10,000 is almost one-third nito. So, ibig sabihin, ang binagsak natin is two-thirds. So, ang sagot natin is B. Now, 34. Which nationality showed consistently decreasing resistance? Okay, so Chinese, check natin. So Chinese, American, Spanish, British, and Belgian. So si Chinese, consistent pang bumagsak? So 39, 24, 24, 5, 23, 7, 2000. Okay, so okay si Chinese. So Next natin si American 7, 8, 5, 2, 5, 1, 5, 4, 9, 2, 8. Okay, so okay din si American. Bumagsak din. So Spanish. Spanish 369, 332. Okay, so wala na hagad si 3. So yung choices na merong 3, hindi yun yung sagot. So may eliminate mo na hagad si... Matatanggal mo hagad si B. And then matatanggal mo hagad si B. So, ang choice na, so, check na lang natin si 4 kasi yun na lang yung iiwang choice natin. Yun na lang yung parang difference ng dalawa nating choices. So, si 4 which is British. Si British, 1, 4, 600, 500, 400, 300. Okay, bumagsak din siya. So, ang sagot is C. Number 35. Okay? So, ang tinatanong dito, the four age groups were arranged according to the decreasing rate of participation in their respective school levels. The order would be. Nakita mo lang naman dito, parang ide-descending order mo lang siya. Sa mga ganitong table, double check niyo yung heading pati yung question kasi doon kayo minsan pwedeng magkamali. So ang tanong kasi dito is yung decreasing rate of participation. So sa participating tayo titingin. So yung pinakamataas natin, is yung 2 okay so that is only B and D tapos ang next sa kanya is 3 so matik na yun B ang sagot kasi yun lang yung may first 2 na 2 and 3 dali 36 so what proportion of the total youth population comprises those who are not attending schools okay so, ang total population natin is 31, 7, 50, 54. Roughly, this is 32 million. So, next is ang tinatanong is hindi uma-attend ng school. So, 18, 217, 664. This is roughly 18 million. So, 18 divided by 32 is equal to 9 over 6. So, makikita mo naman kagad na it, ang 18 ay hindi kalahati ng 32. Okay? Kasi ang 18 is kalahati ng 36. So, ibig sabihin, alam natin na more than 50% yung non-participating sa total so, may eliminate mo na hagad yung option D. Mahikita mo din, yung 82% is not 18 million. So, matatanggal mo na hagad si A. So, yung B is roughly 75%. So, what is 75% ng 32? So, 32, ano ba 75% nun? Divide nyo to ng 4, tapos times 3. So, 24 <coughs> ang 75%. Eh, which is hindi naman 18 yun. Diba? So, ang naiiwan na natin sagot is C. Now, 
is number 37. So sabi sa A, the rate of participation in formal school system is generally lower than the rate of participation. So tingnan mo, mas mababa ba yung participation sa non-participation? Yes, mas mababa. So B, the major cause of non-participation in formal schooling at post-secondary level is poverty. Walang sinabi about poverty. So, dito natin ma-apply yung golden rule na accounting which is never assume unless otherwise stated. Usually, magagamit nyo din sa buhay yan. So, huwag po tayong nag a So, B, hindi yun yung sagot. So, C, the rate of participation in each age group is lower than the rate of non-participation. So, check natin kung mas mababa ba talaga lagi yung participation sa non-participation. So, Sa nursery kindergarten, yes, mas mababa. Sa elementary, no. Mas mataas ang participation kesa sa non-participating. Tapos secondary, mas mataas si participating kesa sa non-participating. Tapos babalik tayo ng post-secondary na mas mababa na yung participating sa non-participating. So, C, D. So, D. There is a low rate of attendance in 0 to 6 age group because most of these children are not yet in school age. So, hindi mo rin din ma-assume. Kasi, malay natin, based dun sa statistics na ginawa nila, yes, it is 0 to 6. Pero, baka isa lang yung sample nilang 1 year old. Kasi, majority 6. So, again, hindi rin natin fully masasabi. So, D is not the answer. Because, again, never assume unless otherwise stated. So, sagot dito is A. This is pi. Ito yung pinaka-favorite ko sa lahat. 38. If there are 200 employees sa buong firm, how many are in production department? So the production department based on the pie graph is 47.5%. Okay? So 200 employees. So if 100 ang employee mo at 47.5%, ito ay 47.5 na tao. Again, wala pong kalahating tao. Pero kasi sinasabing 200 to. So, ang sinasabing 47.5% ng 200 ay dodoblihin mo lang, which is 95 na tao. So, ang kita mo, sagot dito ay B. Okay, so 39. How many employees are there in general services department if there are 200 employees in marketing? Kapag daw may 200 sa marketing and management, which is equal to 25%, so ang total population ng buong company is 800. Now, kunin mo yung 7.5%. So again, himay-himayin natin. If 100 ang tao, ang 7.5% nito ay 7.5 na tao. Pero dahil 800 siya, yung multiply natin siya ng 8. So, 7.5 times 8 it's just equal to 15 times 4 which is 60. So, 60 B 40. So, 10% of the production people are female. So, 10% daw ng production people so, 10% ng 47.5% ng buong kumpanya ay babae. So, if may 400 daw na tao sa buong kumpanya, ilan daw ang babae sa production department? So, again, 47% ng 400, kumayin ulit natin, 100. So, ang tao niya is 47.5. Now, just have to multiply it by 4, which is 95 times 2, which is lalabas ng 190. Now, 10% ng 90, yun daw ang babae, which is 19. 19 ng tao niyang babae sa production department. So, sagot dito is A. That's it sa last part ng 2014 practice set ng CEM for National Medical Admissions Test. Again, I will upload a newer version using the 2019 practice set na binigay ng CEM para ibigay sa inyo yung solution nun. So, I will make a solution manual for it. And, 
Again, if you like this video, hit thumbs up and hit that subscribe button. And please don't forget to share this to your friends, lalo na doon sa mga mag -e or those students na medyo nahihirapan sa mathematics kasi there are different tips dito na pwede nyo magamit kahit sa entrance test kasi quantitative reasoning is also somewhat like the college entrance test or senior high entrance test or high school entrance test na math, math part. So, so again, I'm Dave. See you next time.